and welcome to the Nitty Kitties channel. I'm Annie Art Nettie. Now today I'm going to be doing a video about this college set by Rotring. I'll show you that in a minute. Just thought I'd put some footage in of some drawing. Now back in the day when I was trying to find out what career I wanted to pursue after leaving school one of the ideas was being a car mechanic and through that I got into being a or trying to be a draftsman but it was more coming in that it was going to be on computers so the art of actually drawing in that career was slowly being phased out and probably doesn't even exist anymore but I'd have loved to have got my hands on this set I'm going to show you in this video today it just would have been absolutely perfect but the, what a shame these art forms are dying out I remember when I was a kid I wanted desperately to be a sign writer so I got a birthday voucher and this is one of the things I decided to purchase because at the time of doing this video it was supposed to be £94 and it had been reduced to I think under £30 around about the £20 mark I'll show you in a minute so I decided to look on Google and see the general price where it was everywhere else and it ranged from about 23 26 40 and then as high as the 70 and 90 so I've got myself a right bargain here and the idea was I use a lot of liner pens for my art and so there we go 29.30 absolute bargain 69% off and I'm fed up of throwing them away it feels so wasteful just to get a pen and have to just throw it away when it's run out so I love the idea of refilling the pens with ink and this set is absolutely perfect for that and I thought in this video I'd do a little drawing dedicated to a very special boy more about that later but also test out this set see what it's like unbox it and maybe you've seen it and you were wondering what it's like so this is a German brand I think they've been established since 1928 the packaging says from a brand called Rotring hopefully I've said that right but I just thought I'd show you around the packaging in case you were curious not for any use on skin including tattoos it says there so somebody somewhere has tried that you can guarantee if it says on the packaging may be harmful if swallowed of course <laughs> contains hexamethylene glycol wash hands immediately after use when using do not eat drink or smoke keep out of the reach of children first aid treatment if swallowed get prompt medical attention I'd highly recommend if you're going to be doing your art not to eat and drink at the same desk especially colour pencils alcohol markers anything like that it's not a good idea anyway so good on them for putting that on the packaging it's quite scary to think that people actually do that so saying that I do have the odd cup of tea on my desk as you can see there with that mug I shouldn't do it but we all do I think but think about it it's not a brilliant idea so I've took out the box now and it comes in a really nice case and the lid on it I was just trying to be very gentle because my first time opening it is what you can see on camera so just put a piece of white paper behind there so you can see and there you go there's angles on there so if you are a drafts person you are doing it by hand well you can use that and get these beautiful technical drawings spot on and what a lovely set really made up with it. it's handy that that's the leaflet as well there is a unique number to that so if you should you need to return it or you can communicate that number and they'll know then the batch if something is wrong with them all there is a instruction leaflet there for how to first time when you use them it's pretty basic stuff and just so long as you take your time and you don't 
you're not completely heavy handed with them just it should be fine they should last you, last you a lifetime as well and because you're filling them yourself less is going to landfill so that's the big reason why and another reason why is I wanted to get into making comic books so I'm looking forward to using them and there's three different sizes with the nibs but we'll get to that when we look through the box there is an eraser which is always handy these are the nibs because there's a mechanical pencil in the set as well so you get HB 0.5 size there and you just I was trying to figure that out but you push it with your thumb there oh how do you do it I don't know <laughs> read the leaflet <laughs> but there you go you slide that along and there's the leads in there they are very delicate but it's so good that you get all these bits so you can just start and, and get stuck in straight away so this is for adjusting with your mechanical pencil there that bit that my thumb is on, was on then and is now has got a thread inside it to be able to screw it on and be able to do it properly I'll show you a bit but you'll get the idea and if, if you want any more in-depth I'll go into that that was the ink then and that's the mechanical pencil now I do have mechanical pencils I'll flash up on the screen now which ones I have and I think I prefer this one if I'm honest so you can see that's a rotring ticky there and a close-up of the nib so just trying it out seeing if I can show you the lead pencil coming out there it's a little bit blurry I apologize about that but three different pens now so to feel them they feel really good tactile as well so there we go hopefully that focuses come on <laughs> right there we go brilliant so there's three different nib sizes this is the smallest one And the lid screws on rather than pushes on with these there's the second one and it's handy that the, the nib sizes are different colors around the barrel there see that one's yellow the 0.35 oh yeah I'm trying to lift it off and then I realized that the screw on screw off and I shall show you how to fill them because I've got to fill them for the first time in a minute now and the third one is the fattest nib of the lot as well I think there's more nib sizes you can get and they're all got a different colour on them so somebody was selling them on eBay you might have seen when I was showing them on that Google search and they had a whole job lot of them so that's the empty case which I'm going to keep and I keep everything in the boxes there because I like to know that they're clean and everything like that screw that lid back on So first I'm going to try out using the mechanical pencil so I don't have as much grip in my left hand unfortunately it has to be the left hand the one you write with doesn't it now I might show you I think I'll show you up close I've got kind of a hard wart on you know when you've you hold a pen a certain way I did a video about it when I was younger I stood my teachers were quite Victorian they didn't this particular teacher was not 
made up that she had a left-handed student in her class and this was in primary school so she tried her best to get me to write with my right hand and in the end she, it just wasn't happening <laughs> it, it's just so natural to write with the left hand so I've done a little drawing with it there and you can see a lot of left-handers you'll see that the hand curls right around as they're writing and she went at least if you're gonna write write with your hand straight and it can get very uncomfortable now just see where my thumb is going there that grip is really nice now that's the wart I've got from the way I hold the pen I first noticed that in the badminton class in primary school and it, it's just like it came out of nowhere <laughs> and I was trying to hold the badminton bat and it was really uncomfortable I'm like what's that on my finger and it was red and it was sore and raised and it's never gone it's always been there now holding this the barrel on it it's really comfortable to hold and stuff like that they've really really thought about it and I do find German engineering for things they do put a lot of thought and very proud of what they've made and I think £94 recommended retail and I was getting into a career where I'd use a set like that I would definitely definitely buy it now I'm gonna fill these pens for the first time with ink again I just thought it was such a brilliant idea instead of buying sets of multi-liner pens I could just fill them and not have to throw away barrels of it just seems such a waste so it's so good to get hold of a set where you can just fill it with ink and then you don't have to get rid of any pens and, th and things like that so just for the sake of telling you Rotring I'm not sponsored this is a set I've bought with my own birthday money and they've not influenced me to buy it or anything like that I've looked at them a couple of times I think I've seen a youtuber I really can't remember the name I'm awful sorry but they do these immaculate beautiful drawings with this these particular pens and I've always been really curious about them especially back in the day when I wanted to be a draftsman or draftswoman whatever the, <laughs> the term is you'd say draftswoman but I just say draftsman because that's what I've been brought up with and to know the name as. Now I just kept a bit of tissue handy and just to clean the top so there wasn't any of the ink was going to be spurting through the nib. I just thought that was a, a good thing to do to keep it all clean. Now the actual process of filling the barrel was very very easy, very clean and no spills. The only spills what happened was when I had the napkin and it touched my finger and then I had a bit of ink on my finger. But as for the pens, I'm filling them very neat, very clean. See, so yeah, just in case I sound like I'm really saying, oh, I love these, these are brilliant, worth the money. And I'm always very aware that people like oh I you've been told by the company insert brand to say that or whatever but I love to give my honest first impression and do it on camera because I'm aware I've thought about these for years and investing and seeing them on offer I'm like well go for it because you're never probably gonna get that offer again now oh, I'll come back to that in a minute now what I was like, where's the ink? What you've got to do is you've got to shake it for about 30 minutes or something like that. But let me explain to you. So yeah, I, I want this channel to be somewhere where you can come and you can get an honest opinion. If ever, I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but I, I seem to be on a, a slow incline of subscribers and people only subscribe if you trust someone and you like their channel and you like their personality not everyone's going to like the personality but I want people to come here safe in the knowledge that they're getting a honest opinion and if a brand was ever to come to me 
and ask, right Netty, we want you to do these colour pencils but you've got to say this and you've got to say this and you can't say anything negative about us at all I'll flat out refuse I, now this is alright for me to say because it's not my career I'm not depending on it as my only income or anything like that but I, I, it's called integrity isn't it basically it's you know that that's at the end I, I want people to come to this channel and go right I know I can get an honest opinion off Netty or whoever we've got it's called the Nitty Kitties and everyone who's in that little group so far there's only there was four but there's three of us now I'll come back to that but <laughs> you 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 want an honest opinion off us and as a community and that you know that's what we want to do <laughs> so I, I hope that explains it and I think I've only had one so far where I've had diamond paintings and they asked me would you be able to make a few videos and there was none of this you can't say this you can't say this so I was like right brilliant no problem <laughs> I can do that but if anyone was ever to come to me and say right I'll lay that down now that's there it's on <laughs> it's on a video and you, everyone's got the right now if ever it happens in the future and ah but you said you were come so that's it that that's it laid down in a contract signed <laughs> that you're gonna always get an honest opinion so I was trying to figure out why is there no ink coming out of these pens and I had a look and it's there's a little just a little diagram there it's like ah you have to shake it so I just thought I'd show you that again I'm like what is this but that's to fill the mechanical pencil with the adjust amount mechanical pencil with so that's not it and then I spy a little diagram where it tells you to shake the pen so in a minute a, a little light bulb will come up <laughs> Aha. so do before you play with this set make sure you have a good read through the instructions to know what you're doing now I've had a similar thing with Tosca pens where you had there you go light bulb's gone off <laughs> you have to shake them and press down the little nib onto the paper and then the paint comes through so i'd say a good 30 to 45 seconds shaking it and the ink will start to come through I like to, I just thought I'd make sure that the lid was on. There we go. So, with all three of the sizes, what I decided to do was some rough cross hatching and then some closer rough cross hatching. Tell you the name of the, the size of the nib. So, this is the smallest one. And then, right. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, <laughs> whatever you know, so you'll be able to see the comparison. Now it seems the smallest nib looks like very light, very, very thin, and it was almost like writing with a needle, but that will come in so handy when I'm doing my comics or whatever, if I need that really, really thin pen. So. I'm going to do the same with the other two pens and fill them, shake them and then just start writing with them and you can see a comparison at the end of that. So we'll speed this up a bit and do a time lapse and I'll meet you there.
so you can see the one with the biggest nib on it it's kind of darker and the lines are thicker I just hold that up to the camera first off you can see the mechanical pencil really comfortable to hold a wonderful addition to the set and then the 0.25 first the finished 0.35 and 0.50 so you can see the difference in the thickness right so getting back to the nitty kitties committee there's me there's my partner and there's our pets and sadly we lost one of our pets fluffy he's just the most handsome boy and i miss him so much he was a part of the nitty kitty committee so is his sister toki and i thought oh, i thought i'd do a tribute to me boy and do a drawing of him with this set and i think it's only fair to let this channel know and put it somewhere as a tribute because I've put him and I talk about him in a lot of my videos and he was a part of the channel and he always will be. I'm sure you'll see more <laughs> bits to him. I've got a tribute coming up to him at some point with a mosaic so I just thought I'd put that in there so that people know and they don't ask me oh how's fluffy and it's quite hard to say um i'm very sorry he passed away he, he was 14 and he was the older he got the cuddlier he got and he was a character i've never known a cat that intelligent as he was and it happened so sudden so it's it feels like such a big loss and pets are a part of the family so i'm just showing here to calm down the pencil lines a bit i thought i'd erase them and i thought i'll use the eraser from the set because we're reviewing this set now the thing the gray thing that you've seen was a needable eraser now i'd usually use that and roll it out but I thought, right i'm going to use this because you know, it's it's part of the set, so So I'm gonna time lapse this and show you just it was a very rough drawing. I do want to do some more drawings with this. But it was a first go and I honestly found these pens really good to use. The ink flows really well. I didn't find any kind of dragging or anything like that. I was kind of expecting. I wonder what they'll be like when I try to draw a line. Will it kind of stop and start, you know? And But the ink flew perfectly out of them and didn't have any trouble at all, really. I think once all my fine liners that I've got have run out, I'm just sticking to these kinder to the environment too so like I say I'm just going to speed this up with this drawing of Fluffy and sorry to tell you horrible news I know he's very well liked on his Instagram page and everyone who's seen him falls in love with him basically so it was just so quick and well he'll always be in my heart so Anyway, we we still have Toki. I've put a little bit of footage in there. She was she's the same age. She, she's sprightly. She's a she's a good girl. Some eighty five percent at the time, <laughs> but yeah, I think she's missing her brother, which is very sad. So I'll do a time lapse of this, and I'll meet you at the end of this drawing.
So not the best drawing you'll ever see in the world, but I enjoyed it. It meant a lot and I enjoyed using these pens, honestly. They are so wonderful to use, really smooth, lovely to hold and also I'd like to think environmentally friendly. <laughs> so solid 10 out of 10 here I'd say. I can't think of anything I'd fault. If I was paying 94 I'd be hmm. But the engineering and the work that's gone into making them and making them 100% quality I think they're worth it definitely I got an absolute bargain and if anyone's after this set hopefully you will too you'll catch it so yeah that's again I'm gonna do more drawings <laughs> and that, that was just a rough one just to test out the set so I hope you enjoyed this video anyway and it's answered any questions but if there's anything I haven't covered at all please do comment below and I'll try and help you out as best I can so here's some pictures of Fluffy just as a little tribute to him that was him as a kitten and I think he was about eight or nine there maybe and here's Toki so She'll be coming up in more videos, definitely. I do want to make a knitted version of Toki and of Fluffy at some point and do a knitting pattern. It's eclectic on this channel. You're going to get all sorts of crafting and everything. I mean, don't expect the same thing. I know a lot of people have subscribed because of the sewing machine videos. I believe that's what the statistics tell me most. There will be more sewing machine things coming. Maybe even I'm going to mix sewing machine with other different crafts. So stay tuned. There'll be all sorts of different crafts coming up on here. So I didn't know on Twitter you get birthday balloons. It was my birthday on the 24th. So just another bit of news as well is there's a Sausage on a Foot podcast on a different note and there was a tribute to Gwyneth Powell who was Miss McCluskey and bottom middle one there is mine I got asked would I do a tribute to her I'll provide a link in the description below there'll be a banner going across now but the link to take you to that podcast and to check out that channel as well if you want to hear it and you're a fellow fan of Grange Hill hopefully they'll find the right people but it was so nice for someone to approach and ask would I do a tribute to her because I used to love Grain Jill brilliant favorite character definitely took her let me let me know yours as well so yeah that uh, I was honored someone would approach me and say would you mind doing it but they asked really nice and there's a way you can ask and when someone does it and the and they say you know that you can't refuse so <laughs> brilliant actress and I couldn't not do it so do check out Sausage in the F on a Fork podcast if you're a fellow Grange Hill fan right I shall see you soon take care and bye for now and also don't, for don't forget if you want to ask any questions about the Rotring set please do comment below bye for now <laughs>